A continued winner, the Instagram platform, whose trajectory remains the big story in social media, as brands on the platform continue to enjoy remarkable community growth and robust engagement rates. In the fashion category, as reported in our Insight report on social media in the fashion sector, we found that brands on average had their communities swell by almost 160%. Their communities have almost trebled in the last 12 months with many brands passing the 1 million mark and some brands, including Chanel, racking up more than 4 million followers in less than a year. Don't get too used to this, however. This will become a pay-to-play platform. Facebook will put a wall garden around it, but enjoy it while it lasts. So it looks like Time Warner Cable is off the dance floor and will be acquired by Charter Communications. What does this indicate? Consolidation in an industry that is in decline. According to reports from Nielsen and Google, YouTube now reaches more 18 to 49 year olds on mobile than any cable TV channel does on TV. And YouTube is the second most downloaded app in the US at almost 85 million downloads. That puts them just behind Facebook. Video is emerging as one of the top digital advertising formats as venture capitalists and the startups they've backed look at the $70 billion carcass of TV advertising and say this is just too good to resist. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more recently Spotify have all introduced new digital video ad products this year, and 30% of digital video ads are from the CPG category. Who would have thought that? Winners and losers in a digital age, dads and moms respectively, as mothers continue to pay a penalty for having children. A Pew Research study found that 41% of American adults say that an increase in the number of mothers working outside the home is bad for society. In a related study, exactly 41% of Americans were shown to be total idiots. Some data here, daughters of working mothers earn 23% more than the daughters of mothers who stay at home. Sons of working mothers spend seven and a half more hours a week on childcare and 25 more minutes on housework, meaning they were more likely to stay married. Childless unmarried women earn 96 cents for every dollar a man earns. We have closed the gap. Women without children are not discriminated against. However, once they have kids, married mothers earn only 76 cents, widening the gap. Like the majority of Americans now, I'm a product of a non-traditional household. I was raised by a single mother. My good cheer is definitely a result of my mother's irrational passion for my well-being. However, the clothes, food, and ability to go to college were based on one thing. She worked. So as increased police militarization and the bad habit of police happening to shoot more and more people who are unarmed, specifically people of color, it warrants looking at the data. So police officers do put their lives on the line each day to protect us. About 11 in 100,000 police officers are fatally injured every year. However, if you drive a taxi, you're about 60% more likely to be killed in the line of duty. Electrical workers almost double the fatality of policemen, roofers about quadruple, and fishermen seven times the fatality rate of police officers. So if you're an adrenaline junkie, turn in your badge and gun for a fishing pole. We'll see you next week. Thank you.